Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. What is happening today is an over-the-top luxury baby shower. For one of my best friends in the whole world, who I actually met when I moved to Fort Worth, I asked her on a friend date. Adult friend dates, if you've ever had to make friends as an adult, is like, what? It's so hard. So I was like, hey, um, do you want to like grab your husband and my husband and maybe go to dinner? So awkward, but I really feel like the Lord just like totally placed that on my heart and we've been dear friends ever since. Well, her name is Brooke and she's having a baby. One of her really good friends, Esther, who I've become close with is so sweet. And her and I have kind of like teamed up to do the shower for Brooke. We're both super excited. Esther totally had this really cool kind of like boho farm modern vibe for Brooke shower, which is like totally Brooke. She's just like the classiest human being. So Esther had this really cool vibe. So we came up with all these ideas. We sent out a paper invitation and we've been doing tons of decor. The shower's on Saturday. Today's Thursday. I spent all day kind of running around. We did some things ahead of time some paper products so I'm gonna show you where we're at right now everything's gonna come together over the next like 36 hours doing lots of DIY projects a big like 8 by 8 foot wall JP helped me make this copper sign holder and I'm gonna try my best at balloon garland first thing I'm going to do right now is take out the dishes that I started earlier that are clean and ready to go we did a lot of cool rentals but one of the things that we did do to kind of save some money is we are using our own dishes Esther's bringing this amazing like flatware that has really delicate details on it and I actually am doing green glasses from the dollar store that you saw in my Thanksgiving video I went and bought 10 more and we're gonna use those and we're actually using some plates from Ikea that are really cool and inexpensive and then we're mixing and matching those with some beautiful stemware that JP's mom gave me from his dad's mom actually beautiful as flower detailing on it's going to be perfect and then actually another glass that's a little more modern that's a collection that jp and i have started oh yeah and we're mixing in some like crate and barrel glasses too so like we pull in all these things together mixing and matching and that's one of the ways that we're saving we are splurging a lot of other places and this mama to be couldn't be any more deserving oh if you're hosting a party and you wash dishes clean your hands before you unload the dishwasher actually in life just in general that's like just a rule of thumb so i'm gonna set these aside until they're ready to get placed. Okay, so these are the chairs that we rented from Bella Accento, which is an amazing company here in Dallas. And then another thing that I'm super excited about is right behind me. So this is a copper sign stand that JP made for me. It is so cool. This is gonna hang from it with fishing line. And then I'm gonna attempt to do the balloon garland on top of this. JP is like my workhorse right now. Go babe, go. So, Behind me, you'll see our couch. And we have the sectional, which is nice when you're sectional sitting, but we're not sectional sitting. We're bringing in two round tables. So here's what we need. We need this couch to go away. We're gonna take some of this out, maybe the rug. Two hours later. So everything's gone. Those tables are gonna get set up eventually, but first we have to do some crafting around here. So JP's gonna film me showing you guys how to put the tape in the fishing line and then hanging the sign. Can you give a step-by-step -step tutorial as to how to build a copper sign hanging thing? Yeah, you just follow what your wife says. Wow, in the comments are the instructions for how to build the copper sign. So here's the board, 24 by 36, got this printed out of fast sign, super easy. And so design this, if you have a design, you can purchase this, you know, like whatever. So this is from one of my favorite books that Brooke actually got me when JP and I had Foster. It means a lot, love this quote. So here's how we're going to assemble it onto the copper rod. So I have two pieces of packing tape and I'm gonna take one and adhere the fishing line on side of them. I want it to be as kind of close to the edge as possible so it's a lot easier to center it. This doesn't matter because it's the back. I wanted enough tape to where it's really adhered. There's a little bit of a loop so it can't just like slip out. I want to take this and we're gonna take this fishing line and we want it to be able to wrap quite a few times. So now I'm gonna give it some slack and then I'm gonna cut this side. So now we got rid of the spool. So you want it center. So this is a center of it of trial and error. Oh Lord. Now you just mess with your slack just a little bit. Oh, it's looking good. 
Cool. So this is where the balloon garland is going to go. And I'm sure it will like move, you know, as it gets moved to its location for the night, but it's gonna be really cute. This is the DIY of the century, okay friends? What we have here, insulation panels from Lowe's. These are stock sized four by eight. What we are going to do, I got a bunch of these foam boards printed by a company called Blue Wave. They are amazing, super inexpensive. And this pattern right here matches Brooke's envelope liner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to take this 3M permanent adhesive and I'm going to adhere these. I have two walls and 16 panels and I'm going to adhere them to the wall. We literally just discovered that they actually have seams that match. I didn't think they did a little graphic designer. All I dream is are two. We shall not check her the baby's breath in between. We shall just do the matching panels and I might do it on the edge, but that is not going to happen tonight if we are doing it. I'm cutting about mm, approximately six inch strips of the 3M tape, putting them on the two sides, that's it. I am making sure it's lined up. Okay, so there it's lined up. What you're gonna wanna line it up with, you wanna just run your hands along the side to where it's flush with the styrofoam on the side and on the top. So just put it down lightly so the top's perfect. Side needs a little adjusting. Then you just push it down and start on the next one. So I said I was only gonna put two pieces of that 3M tape. When I set them up, you can kind of see where the panels are bowing a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add just like a little bit more on the corners to make sure those are really sealed down. And I'm just gonna lean it up against there for right now. I'm gonna put the other one on top of it because I haven't quite figured out where exactly I want those to go. I have a couple options in the entryway off to the side behind where she's opening presents. So I'm gonna figure out where I want those, but for now I'm just gonna lean them against the wall and until tomorrow they will find a placement and they will get their finishing touch, which is this baby L sign, it's backwards and I haven't pulled the backing off of it. This is just acrylic. That's gonna go on top of there. I'm really excited. So I've pretty much done like all I'm gonna do tonight. So I'm about to turn on Grace. But what I wanted to show you is I'm gonna be productive while I watch the show. I am going to start blowing up balloons for this balloon garland. I've never done this in my life. So I bought the kit, the best rated kit. So it comes with this electric balloon pump and this balloon arch. Kit. This is all off of Amazon. And then I went to Party City and I got my balloons because I wanted to look at the colors. So I got transparent white and a rose pearlescent rose gold color in three different sizes. So I'm gonna start kind of opening this and give it a whirl. We need a plug. What I realized that I bought in this little kit is a tire. I think this ties balloons. So you put this on your fingers. So you wrap this around and you knot the balloon in the slot. Pretty. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this little pink machine. Oh my stars, it's been amazing. Look, I literally knocked like all of these balloons out before like the first commercial on Grey's Anatomy came in. I am loving it. So now next, what I'm going to do is what came in this strip is this little like tape thing that has holes in it. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna start stringing these on here and kind of see what happens. The next day. It was such a good day. I didn't film a lot because Ara and Esther and I were just like chatting away, setting everything up. So it is pretty much all good to go. Changed out some pillows, set all the tables. We did the flower arrangements. These bases are from Target. Esther put these little favors together from Joy Macaroon. What I did do last night was finish this balloon garland. You guys, I'm linking the Amazon kit that I bought. It was like so easy. Like if you don't get anything else from this video, click that link in the description and you're gonna want this. Here's the final balloon product. Like what insane. It was so fun. So last thing when we do the big wall, I'll show you the finished product of that. Last night I only put two strips on it and it needs more touch up. So I'll show you guys that as we do it. So we talked for a long time about like where these walls were gonna go. So the walls are gonna go by this door. So JP's going to get his ladder. So what we're gonna attempt to hang them with right now is these. Because we're hanging directly to our wall, I don't wanna mess up the paint. So 
We're gonna try these, hope they work. I told you guys last night when you installed this that you only needed like two strips of the 3M tape on the top and the bottom. I lied, way more. Just because the poster boards are kind of heavy, they're lifting a little bit. So once JP helps me get these mounted, I'm going to go in and I'm gonna either do a little bit of this or I have these Scott like mini squares that I'm just gonna tuck under the edge. Okay, we're putting the 3M strips on the board and it worked really well. We put one up already. So we left it on the ground and then Jess are putting the 3M strips on like the top quarter of the board. And so we left it on the ground to give it like some leverage. You ready to put this one up, babe? Let's do it. When you get it up there on the 3M tape, you have to press and hold for 30 seconds. Three, zero, ah. The next morning. Good morning. Today's the day of Brooke's shower. I'm super excited. I'm making a coffee. The caterers are gonna be here in about 30 minutes. I am just like turning on some lights, getting us all situated. JP's out there planting flowers. <laughs> He's amazing. Oh, they look so good. I am just gonna do some finishing touches. I'm gonna clean up our junk. I'm gonna wipe down some counters. I'm actually gonna clean the bathroom. Get ready and then everyone's gonna be here. Can't wait to show you guys. I feel like this has been kind of like DIY, but like a little bit luxury. It's gonna be so fun with everyone here. I can't wait to celebrate. Grab a plate from the table and help yourself to some brunch. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the miracle of life and for family and friends and celebration. Cheers to you, you start us. Oh, well, okay. Everybody's always like, never wants to eat. Okay. I am very excited to eat. I'm always excited. I've been looking forward to this meal all morning. It was perfect. It was awesome. <laughs> Yay! I love baby showers. It was such an honor and privilege to plan this for Brooke and Chris with Esther. And Esther and I had so much fun. And Brooke and Chris, you're so loved. And so is baby L. If you have DIY questions, let me know. Otherwise, yeah, have babies. Don't showers for your friends. Make feel loved because it is the best thing you could do. Friendships are everything. And it takes a village to raise a baby. And Brooke is part of my village. Love you, sister.